All right, guys, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. If you guys don't know, my name is Matt, the host, I guess you can say, of Matt Secret Outdoors. Today, I was planning on going out long rod fishing on open water, but I don't know if you guys can see that behind me. The lake is frozen solid. It is December 2nd. So, happy late birthday to Chloe. You guys have seen her on the channel. Uh, happy birthday for today uh, for Carling, uh, which is my buddy Sky. Uh, that's his girlfriend. So, happy birthday, Carling. Happy late birthday, Chloe. Uh, yesterday, me and Chloe had dinner. Hung out a little bit when she got off work. Um, so, anyways, back to fishing. Um, like I said, I was playing on log rod fishing. You know, cast, reel in fish, you know, that kind of stuff. Change plans. Lake is frozen, like I said. So instead, I'm gonna make some hobo fishing rods and we're gonna do some ice fishing. All right. Woo. So now we are heading down on the lake, like I said. Now, because the sun's right in my face, I have no idea where I'm gonna wanna go. Someone has been here. I have no idea how deep it is here. But, looks like we've got, I don't know, a good two or three inches of ice. Sounds solid, feels solid. Oh, snap, we got more than that. We got like four, almost five inches of ice. Okay, so that's open water there. So we're gonna stay away from that. We're gonna set up I guess right about here should be good. It's kind of sketchy looking, but we'll make do with what we got. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna show you guys what I have here real quick. So we have minnows, my knife, two sticks with hooks, a little bit of line, not very much, but uh, we're gonna make do with what we got. So let's oh, separate the legs on the tripod. So the phone don't fall over. Okay. And just to protect my hands a little bit, I do have gloves. Just because that knife doesn't exactly have the nicest of handles on it. And I have a feeling that I'm going to get wet doing this. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Now, my lines will not be far apart because there is no traction on here whatsoever. And there's that black spot right here. Good ice for sure. I mean, I'm on some colored ice, but it is relatively solid. And all we're going to do is we're just going to chip around making a circle on the ice <laughs> that was quite the crack so that crack goes far down as I can see behind you guys and right the shore over that way so I don't know if this is still a good idea there's definitely more ice than I thought There's water. Good Lord. All right. I think we're making one hole. We're going to fish one hole. Because this is a lot of work. I'll come back when it's done. All right, guys. It didn't take quite as long as I thought it was going to take. 
it's only been about, I don't know, two minutes after I shut you guys off. But to give you an idea, nice crystal clear ice. That there. All right, I just have them hooked behind the dorsal fin. My little split shot. And down it goes. Okay, so there's the end. And I'll be able to grab the stick, or the line, I guess, and uh, catch a fish. So we'll see what happens. So I'll just show you guys real quick. The stick over the knife to the hole. I wonder if I can see down there. It doesn't really look like it. Holy geez, guys. I've got a brook trout or something, or a splake. A couple of them sitting right there at my minnow already. There's a bite. <laughs> this might be easier than I thought. Now they're not big, but like I said, there is two or three of them sitting there already. I should have brought a GoPro with me. I could have showed you guys down the hole, show you so you can see what I see. I'm getting some good bites there, guys. Literally, just as I shut off the camera, the stick started bouncing kind of crazy now it could be the minnow but I don't think the minnows are actually that strong to bounce this stick that well and now there's no movement clear out the hole a little bit it is off to one side Okay, no, it's moving. It's not bouncing anymore. Now he's just swimming around in a circle. So. You guys see that? Let's move you guys over a little bit. Tilt you guys down. Instead of looking at my face, you guys can look at the rod. Twig. I think that's a fish yeah there you go fish on what do we have nice little splake very little but a fish nonetheless right on i think it's a splake might be a little brookie no well he's losing an eye there so I'll show him to you. Turn the camera. There we go. There. A little splake. And like I said, he's losing an eye. 
Um, I don't know if I should keep him. There's a good chance he's not going to make it anyways. But he's also very little. Like, I mean, like six and a half, seven inches. So, I don't know. These are stocked fish. I don't know. We'll keep them. Now, there, at least I'm going home with something. So, we'll throw him on ice. Just like that. I'm going to grab a minnow and drop it back down. It is so slippery on here, especially when you're wearing improper footwear. All right, guys, that was a success. Next contestant, swimming right there on the surface of the bag. He's not looking too lively, but any luck, it's not going to matter. Tie that back up real quick. One more for your measure. Here we trust you all. Red hook. Again, if I can get them without getting me. Right there behind the dorsal fin. And back down we go. Oh, I don't know if that was the ice or if that was a fish bumping right off the bat. I guess we'll find out soon. A little chunk of ice off. Set you guys up on this side just like that so the tip is right here i'm gonna get back a little bit there we go man they are getting feisty let's see if he comes back and hits it again yep there he is again oh man Oh, snap, he's right there. There he is. Oh, and I missed my minnow. I lost my minnow. He hit it right at the hole, folks. Son, he was bigger than that one, too. He's about two of that one. Oh, no, did it backwards. Let's see if we can't get him. He is aggressive. Man, let me tell you what. Yeah, you look like you're a good one for this. Not overly feisty. Kind of just laying there. Oh, there we go. Now he's coming to life. Just as long as you don't flop down that hole and feed him for no reason. There's my hook. Got our minnow, and again, guys, same as before. Just gonna hook them right there behind that dorsal fin. We'll drop them down the hole, just like that. And set up our stick again. See if he comes back and hits it. <clears throat> nope.
Man, usually this water is crystal clear. I don't know if it's just because it's the beginning of ice season or what. But it is murky now. Come on. There he is. A little bit better. Oh no. A little bit better. Oh no. A little bit better. Oh no. I hope you guys got to see that one. That was a good one. Like I said, definitely bigger than the first one we got. That was kind of upsetting. Lose them right at the hole like that. Now, with that being said, these are not exactly professionally cut ice holes either. We are, what do you call this? I guess we can call this almost survival fishing at this point. Using a stick with leftover fishing line that I had on a rod that I can't use anymore because it doesn't exactly work proper. I might actually just use that next time. Tie the line right to the end of the rod. Use that rod as a survival rod from now on. Usually I have more stuff in my vehicle as well. I have a little four foot, I think, uh, collapsible fishing rod. Could have used that. It's not in the vehicle anymore. My tackle bag, not in the vehicle anymore. So all that's going to have to get put back in there. Clearly. But. Probably shouldn't be throwing stuff on the ice, eh? Spooking the fish. Leave it in the comment section down below. Do you believe that noise above the ice affects the fish? below the ice moving around having quads and snow machines on the lakes do you believe that scares the fish doesn't affect the fish or helps the fish i want to hear what you guys think let me know but until then we wait I should have brought music Still there. There he is. There we go. That makes fish number five, folks. <laughs> this is too much fun. Ah, he was my minnow thief. There, so we're gonna release this one. We're gonna try for one more. How about that? There. That one's back in. This is the one that we just got. Slimy buggers. Dang. Get over here. <laughs> there. There he is. There's another one. Ah, he's a little. Oh, well. Still makes five. One, two, three, four, five. For the record, if ever you guys see these stickers driving around, I don't know if you guys can actually see that or not. If you guys can see those and you guys happen to see them driving around, 
Tim Hortons drive through is usually where you're gonna find me. Ugh. Feel free to say hi. Stop me. I'm not usually in a rush. And we're back. So, as you can see, kind of made a mess out of it. Why? It's going in a wrap. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick up some of the fish. And I'll meet you at the table. All right, guys. That is my last video that I made. Uh, that was the pink salmon fishing. Um, if you guys didn't go subscribe, oh, he's gone. Young guy in the video, go subscribe to him. If you haven't, please do. Kid's awesome. Till then, let's dig in. And uh, hopefully there's another video coming up soon, with any luck. So until then, have fun, keep catching fish, I'll see you guys on the next one.